Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, is going to be about this eye look I just did recently with the Milani eyeshadow palette. And I did already prime my eyes with my normal eye concealer and I did set it with a lightest shade. But right here, I'm going in with the Milani lightest shade brown. And I did use the Milani um, brush they came with. And I am putting it in my outer crease and putting it, working it inwards. And you're just going to blend that back and forth. And then I just grabbed a Wet n Wild uh, blending brush just so I got tired of using this small brush so I just used whatever brush that was comfortable with me and you can do the same thing and you're just gonna blend that into your inner crease and outer. Right in here, we're gonna go in with the peachy color from the Milani eyeshadow palette. It's a nice color, it's so pigmented, oh, so pretty. And you're just gonna apply that in the outer corner back and forth. I'm still using the Wet n Wild um, blending brush, like I said before, use your own brush that you feel comfortable with, you know. you're just gonna keep on blending the peach and i'm honestly thinking about getting the other colors of the balani eyeshadow palette because girl this is really good <laughs> Yo, I here. And then I did go back in with the Milani uh, light brow eyeshadow and just to buff it out on top. You don't have to do that. It's all up to you. And then I believe right here, switch back to the peachy color. Of course, honestly, I kept switching back and forth, but yeah. For the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it off for you. And I did use an eyeshadow brush, or actually I don't know the name because there's no name written on this. Um, just to buff it out. You don't really have to do that, but it's up to you. And you can use your makeup setting spray just to make the shimmers more pigmented because, girl, we ain't trying to have no fallout. Because that is really hard to clean up sometimes, working with shimmery colors because it can stick to your skin. But I did go half, like I don't think halfway, but like a quarter to my eyelid. To where the shimmery color is gonna go it all depends up to you so whatever your preference is just use that Alright, then we're just going to jump back into the palette and then use the same peachy color just to buff it out, make sure there's no harsh lines. Look at my fucking eyebrows, uneven. What was I thinking? But anyways, I, for some reason, one side of my eye, my whole face comes out better than the other. I don't know why I always think that, but that's just my personal, I don't know, I think too much. Oh, but sometimes it gets cold, like... So the little um, makeup, little brush that came with the eye eyeshadow palette is really good. It blends everything so nice. But here I am just taking the Wet n Wild eyeliner. Of course, I did not like the eyeliner that I personally bought because I got the wrong one. I wasn't looking right. So make sure you always look at the labels before you buy. <laughs> Anyways, I honestly did not like it because it's kind of too watery for me personally. And it just didn't work well. Like it was so messy. I don't know. It's like every time I try to buy a new eyeliner, it runs out quick or it doesn't work at all or it's too, the consistency is too watery. I don't know if that ever happens to anybody, but just let me know what's a good eyeliner for like drugstore or high end. Doesn't matter. Just let me know down below. In the comments down below, I should have said. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> This is my all-time favorite because this is where I messed up, but I just used an angled fluffy brush just to buff it out. And I did put concealer right there just to clean it up. And then I did grab 
the same eyeshadow palette once again buffing in the light brown and peachy color just to put on the bottom of the eye You guys can use any makeup brush that you have that you to apply shimmery shades and what I did the same thing use my makeup setting spray just to fix up the look of the eyeshadow because I thought I needed more shimmer and you're basically going to do what you did to your right eye to your left eye from the video perspective so it's going to be right eye to left eye I believe and look at my highlight popping, boo. Look at you. Hype it up. Fuck it up, bitch. Fuck it up. Oh my gosh. So, like, this contour kit is amazing. I love it, personally. I got it for $3 at Walmart. It was on clearance. And look at me. Ooh. Glow, baby. Glow. Yeah, no book full of raps by the end of every class. That's my formula for life, not the formula to last like. We're gonna go in with our eyelash curler and just curl our lashes. I kind of fucked up on this eyeliner, but it's okay. This side's more better, but who cares? And then what I do, <clears throat> I grab. Oh my gosh, my makeup's everywhere. Oh, my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and what I do is just go over it. Like this. If my face still looks red, it's because I was at the beach all day. Yeah, it was pretty long. I was at the beach with my boyfriend and his cousin, so. That is why I still look red, like under my foundation. No, I'm completely darker than my normal foundation. I took that lamp, the cap off because I could not see. The lamp used to be over here, but it's okay. Now, I would normally throw on lashes, but because my good lashes are gone and I ran out of glue, it looks like this is how the look is going to be. You could throw on some lashes. I like these ones personally because they actually are comfortable to me and they have like a thin, they actually fit my eye just perfectly so I think that's why I prefer these eyelashes but if you know like any other good eyelash brand out there you can order online, just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you did enjoy this look, everything did work out fine and we'll do some swatches here. This is more like a shimmery color. So that's pretty, um, hold on, let me wipe this off, and that was the first color, now we're going to try the darker color, I mean the light color, for like the base and all, it's pretty pigmented, I like it, I thought it wouldn't be as good as, um, I, as good as I thought it would be, but this is like cherry. It's wonderful. And then next is the darker shimmery colors. I think the shimmery colors are pretty nice. I mean, they're really pigmented. I never seen that. Like in the normally when I do apply the shimmery, like other brand shimmery colors, like it's usually like a fallout. So you're getting a pretty good price as you would pay for it. And this one was nine something, so like ten dollars. Of course, in Hawaii, everything's 10 times more expensive, so. So these are the swatches as 
from the Milani eyeshadow palette. <sighs> Would I recommend it to others? Yeah, because you get a good deal out of your price. And I did use um, the brush that it came with. Um, it works actually pretty good as a normal brush would be, but I felt like I needed a bigger brush just so I can um, be more faster done. I mean, if you have patience, you could actually use that, so that's on you. But yeah, hope you did like the video and enjoy it. Let me know what else makeup brands you guys want me to um, check out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once we reach 50 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. Who knows what might be in it. So tell your friends, tell your family, 